Hey guys, it's Forever Simming, and welcome to part two of Let's Play The Sims 2. Um, I realized before that I didn't really kind of show you the intro to the town and everything, and um, so I'm going to do that real quick before I get into the Goth family. A lot has happened in 25 years. Mortimer Goth made his fortune, the Pleasants put down roots, and a new generation of Sims was born. But the peaceful, happy existence is in jeopardy when some new arrivals to Pleasant View start stirring up trouble creating rivalries and tensions for all the families in the neighborhood. Can anything be done to restore the peace to sleepy, idyllic, pleasant view? So we're gonna have to see about that. Um, and then today, we're getting into the Goth family, so I'm gonna kinda show you a little background with them. Cassandra is ready to start a family of her own, but can she tame the town Casanova? And can Mortimer bounce back after the disappearance of his wife, Bella? So, we're gonna have to get into that. Um, I'm extremely excited to get into the Goth family because they are kind of the family that Pleasant View is based on and they are my favorite family. I'm really not sure why. I just really like them. And no, I'm not a weird gothic kid, which is apparently the stereotypical fan of them, but I'm not. So <laughs> I just really like them for some reason. Okay. Cassandra is smitten with Don and wants to get hitched. Per perf ugh, oh my gosh, I can't talk, sorry. Perhaps an affectionate gesture will put the relationship on strong footing. So, um, if you get into your EA folder and delete The Sims 2 folder, um, it will restart the game. And when you re um, start it the next time, all the neighborhoods and everything will be restarted. And I've done that a lot of times just when I'm like, uh, I don't really like where this neighborhood has gone. I want to change it. That's what I do. So I kind of know the path um, of pretty much every action that starts off this family, to be honest, because I've started it so many different ways. Um, I know that if Cassandra asked him to marry her, he will turn her down and leave, and she will be left at the altar. If he moves in and marries her, everything will be okay. But um, he will end up cheating on her eventually, and if Darren moves in, then everything is fine, and they end up getting married. But um, I'm going to do it a little different today. I'm going to have him, or have her marry him, so I already know he's going to leave. But then after that, I'm not going to automatically invite Darren into the household and, um, and get engaged to him and all that. I'm just going to kind of see where they go. And he might end up dating her, he might not, but I'm not going to rush it. And it's kind of going to be one of those things where, you know, he's obviously the better guy, but she kind of doesn't see that, and it gets very aggravating after a while. But first I'm going to put in the cheats. Just in case we need health cheats. Okay, and before I get into it, I'm going to show you their each of their bio and kind of the family tree. I'm going to try to remember that when I start each family, but we're going to have to see about that. <laughs> Mortimer's bio is, okay, or not, okay. Cheerful and, and outgoing, Mortimer brings his old country upbringing into the modern age. He has an unusual fondness for insects. Cassandra's is, Cassandra is the quiet, mysterious type. Nobody ever knows quite what she's thinking. As a child of older parents, Alexander often wonders if he missed out on anything. His hobbies include optometry and number theory. So I really don't look at them as a goth family, like gothic and everything. I look at them as a proper family, you know? And yeah, they have a cemetery in the backyard, but a lot of people did in the old times. And like his bio says, he um, has an old country upbringing. And that's just kind of how they are. So that's why I really like them, because they're just kind of... They're different, but not in a bad way. Um, so let's get into their family tree. So Mortimer's parents are Victor and, or no, his grandparents are Victor and Gretel. They had Gunther, and his mom is Cornelia, and his grandparents are Simon Crumblebottom and Prudence Crumblebottom. Um, okay. He married Bella and they had Cassandra, and then later on they had Alexander. As you can see, Bella is still lit up, and she is also still young. Here is her brother Michael, which I talked about in the previous one. He did marry Dinah, 
and yeah then you get into her whole family tree so we're not going to go that far and then their parents are Simus and Jocasta Bachelor and if you play The Sims 3 you know plenty about both the both Mortimer and Bella's family because obviously they are in that but yeah um, Bella got abducted by aliens if you look into Mortimer's memories you will see Bella got abducted by aliens. <laughs> How can the Sim live with the awful knowledge they must have gained? Who will be next? And she never came back. So I don't know. I've never had a Sim get abducted by aliens at all in my gameplay. So I don't know if they come back or not. Um, I don't know if it's an unusual thing for them not to come back. But I know that the only way you can get her back is through the cheat where you... I already typed it in. You spawn... Tombstone L and D. Add family member. Add neighbor to family. And then Bella's right there. But if you add her to the family, she dies the next time. Like by the next time you play, she's dead. And you can't use the lifetime reward um, that you get from university, I believe, where you can call the Grim Reaper and pay for one of your family members to come back. Like, she it just says she died on another lot, so you can only, like, use mods and different stuff to get her back and have her not die. So, who wants to do that? I don't. So, let's get started, and we're gonna get married. Oh, um, what a big... Maybe. Froggy Jahano. Like, uh -huh, I'm not feeling not that. so Nibre. Uh, Steve Plo. <laughs> Steve Plo, Shubi. <laughs> Oh, she's going nuts so. <laughs> She's lost. <laughs> oh my. That's a cuckoo. That's a Bruin. That's a Bruin. Alexander's making the cuckoo thing at her. So is Mortimer. Because you know, if you switch to them, he's not there. Vodish all the ground. And see, that's the one thing I really love about the Sims too. Whoa, whoa. Is, um, oh, they just add so many like goofy things into it. It's just really funny. So I guess they're gonna eat. What's wrong with her? Her social is horrible. I'm just gonna hug her and give her a family kiss. He feels bad for her. Okay. Get more, baby. <laughs> okay, yeah. then. Yeah. At least the relationship isn't that good. Wally. Get your wife! Her latest memory is... Cassandra got left at the altar. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. I guess someone forgot to keep on top of the relationship. And hers is got left at the altar by Don. Oof. I didn't think I'd be stand I'd be standing there alone. I should have have I shouldn't have taken his love for granted. Man, I cannot talk today, sorry. So yeah. She's having some hard times right now. She's gonna go inside because the ghosts are gonna be coming out soon. Is she fr is she good friends with him? Mm, kinda. She's gonna entertain him and chat a little bit. And then Mortimer is gonna 
clean up. And use the restroom because old people have to pee on here like all the time. It's ridiculous. Sounds like me trying to play the piano. Ha ha, you get that. If your social gets bad enough on here, like, you can have the social one here come. And I mean, it's just, here's a ghost, here's Con Cornelia's ghost. And it's just so many funny, like, out of, out of there things, like, or out there, not out of there. And it's just, I, that's why I love this game so much. He's gonna head on the bed. Actually, no. His bed is actually this one. But I always have her head into that room because she gets married, but she's not, so she's gonna stay in her old room. Can you stop playing piano? Thanks. Okay, her social is a lot better now, so she's gonna use the restroom, and he needs to get up there and head on to bed. I have them stay inside since the ghosts are all out. And I realized that if they're red, it means they died suddenly. They weren't, or they weren't ready to die yet, or um. Like, if she died right now, she'd be red because of her, how her want, or her aspiration meter's down. But if they died, you know, when they were ready to die, and their aspiration meter is full, then they are white. So, I'm sure you guys knew that, but I would just say that just in case you didn't. I'm going to have her talk to Dirk, or Darren. Because it's so funny because you know there he is for her to talk to, and uh -huh. she's sad. She's Ooh, like, a little bit, but she's not gonna marry him, and that's just kind of how it goes. He needs to hurry up and go to bed. He's got school in the morning. He's gonna age up in three days, so he's almost a teenager. Damn, brave, bro. Oh my god! Keep so on the I just do So she not too good at friends with everyone in this neighborhood. But she's really good friends with Mary Sue. Which I always find kind of funny because they're so opposite. She's so like I don't know. Wealthy or like she has the a fortune aspiration and she's more family oriented and it's just diff they're just so different. Mary Sue also seems like more of a go-getter and Mortimer, or Mortimer, Cassandra's just kind of quiet and timid, you know? No, you're going to eat. I don't even make family meals on here, even though he actually can make a lot, because you can't save leftovers until you get, like, I forget what expansion pack, so there's really no point. Let's have some salmon. work. Yeah, she works, but on her day off tomorrow, we're going to have Dawn come over, and they're just going to kind of try to talk it out, but we'll see how that works. Um, excuse you. Did you eat? Oh, okay. Come on, no? Come on, Okay, then we're gonna hire a maid. Then she's gonna go and eat breakfast. Yeah, we're gonna see if her skills get up. Because it's really hard if I do their health. You know. Oh, 
I didn't know that dogs could play. That's cool. Oh, he oh, he has a ha hoa! Oh, he Got it. Oh, he has a ha hoa! 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 Oh, he As you can see, they don't have a dishwasher or anything like that. Because they're old fashioned. Have her study cooking. Oh my, you're eating again, you're gonna become so fat. Oh my oh, goodness. Ow. Oh. Yep, see, he's fat. Oh my. I knew that would happen. Didn't I? I swore I put in. Okay, that's weird. Make all happy. Because they have to go to school. And... Molaka Noyo! Oh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you sniff it? That's so gross. Oh my goodness. Good work. Okay, come see ya. Yeah. Why do they keep juggling? So angry. Okay, he's gonna invite over Dinah. So they have a thing. Mostly because she wants his money. Because, I mean, who really wants to date a really old person that wants their money? I really don't know if I want them to date or not because... I don't know, it's kind of weird. I mean, like, not date, I mean get married. It's kind of weird. So he's just gonna sit there and wait. So he kind of should pee first. Nah. Okay. As you can see, Alexander is in private school. So. That's kind of another dig towards them being the rich, proper family. Of course, he's private school. Ma, bella to, bella di. Greeter. Is this her blonde? Um. Hopefully, that's just the lighting. That's just weird. No oh, 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 do, do you guys see this right now? His hair is definitely blonde. With like, orange, orange like highlights in it. It must be like a glitch, cause, oh, why, why, why is my game looking so weird? What's wrong with my game? Okay. I don't even know why it's glitching up. Just ignore, just ignore the color. I don't know why it's doing that. Here we agree here. I did. What even? I'm so good. What? What is that? Oh, I'm so confused. I'm literally so confused right now. Okay, <laughs> Oh, 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 Head 
I seriously don't know why his hair is glitching like that, but it's really weird. I ask her to join. Nope, I'm not doing this. I hate them so much. He's gonna cuddle with her. Ooh. Fancy. School. School. Oh. Ah. What's this guy wearing? Though? What is this guy wearing? Why is everyone glitching? I'm so confused. Like, look at his outfit, though. Oh my goodness, what is life right now? He's like a guy slash girl. Like, look at his face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Sims 2 though, like you just have to just take a second. See, this is what he normally looks like, and that's what he looks like right there. Like, there's obviously a difference. Uh, okay, well, oh we're going to, as soon as he leaves, we're going to head on and go swim, because why not? <laughs> Okay. Oh, I guess I well, we should take her too. That's stupid. He doesn't like Don. Oh my god, no, because he do you. Maybe he's the other. He doesn't even know Don, that's awkward. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Voila. Oh my little. Come on. Hmm. Ah, come on, Steve. Yeah, go eat. Step from the lever down. Over to you. Kilo. Kilo Masaya. Okay, everyone's home. I'm gonna say goodbye to her. <laughs> Alexander got a good grade. Whoops. Oh my yeah. Oh, he got an A plus report card. She's home. She's just kind of blah. Actually, we have some time. I'm going to invite Don over. Ramen stab! He's a rumor. Oh, who does not? Get him a seat, my guy. Maybe I see the bar. Tikushi. Doba, Ika, Fuzzi. These walls are really weird. I don't want to be seen anymore. I love the wall. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, he should not have done that to her. やばしいとこにあ、そうファームのヘイオ、いかばらがら。ああ、ベスナルタ。あ、シムナム、こんなんで、トリムでって。そう、そう。シムナムタイプのフォーカスでいいのって、いいのって。フォーカス。そう、そ
Okay. I'm going to end this here because we have pizza and I really want to go eat it. <laughs> and um, next time we, when we um, play the goth family, we will um, get more into Darren and Cassandra's relationship and kind of into that. And then Alexander will be aging up, so we'll get him into a relationship and it's going to be really fun. So I'm really excited. So um, thank you so much for watching. Next time um, we play... I will be getting into the Dreamer family, so I guess either way we will, ugh, I can't talk, we will be getting into Cassandra and Darren's relationship. So yeah, I'm so excited for that. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please comment um, if you have any opinions, any helpful criticism, anything like that. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more um, of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day guys, bye.